Hey, what's going on everybody? So this week we're gonna make a CA glue finish pen. Um, back in Oklahoma, Moy Perez showed me how to do CA glue finish. I didn't get the chance to actually do the finishing technique there. So this will be the first time I have done a CA glue finished pen. If you wanna see how to do that, stick around. Also links to Moy's channel will be in the description below. already have made a pin video so there's no need to show this so here it is real quick but here's the pin that I'm about to put the finish on so the first thing you need to do is apply paste wax to the metal bushings this way the wood does not get stuck to the bushings themselves and next I wrap my fingers with blue painters tape you could use masking tape or whatever you have on hand but you're doing this seeing as you're using super glue you do not want to get the super glue all over your hands uh, this just prevents that from happening so to do the CA finish we're going to be using a product from fast cap called 2p10 uh, they have multiple different thicknesses but for this particular case we're going to use medium and then we're going to use thin and we're going to put one coat of medium followed by three coats of thin and then in between each coat we will spray it with the activator but each coat needs to have it use its own own paper towel this way you're not scratching up the finish because it basically dries immediately to the paper towel so to use multiple paper towels to apply each coat of finish, you're eliminating the scratching of the finish that's already on there with the dried up super glue. And like I said, the first coat's gonna be the medium glue, and we're gonna apply it on the top of the pen and use the paper towel under and just run it back and forth until it's fully covered. And then we will use the activator and just do a few sprays on there to make it dry fast. I know it is super glue so it does dry fast but the activator makes it dry that much faster. So on the next three coats we are going to use the thin CA glue. Uh, on this particular one I apply it just like the first on the top and it doesn't really matter. The next two I apply directly to the paper towel and then rub it on. And if you feel the finish and you think it's not as smooth as it's supposed to be, don't worry, we will use the uh, micro mesh at the end um, and it will sand it up smooth. So I start uh, with the micro mesh. I can't remember the exact grit. I think there's, I think I used a total of six. I didn't go all the way up. I didn't feel like it was necessary to go to 12,000. But if you want it that much shiny, more shiny, I guess you can do so. So I use the micro mesh and I make sure I have water on, dip it into a little cup of water each time. Um, that way you just make your micro mesh last longer. And then I wipe it with a paper towel to clean it off. And here it is stopping when it's pretty shiny. I was pretty pleased seeing as this is my first pen doing today finish. I then turn around and put some uh, Mylan's friction polish that I normally used on pens and and kind of buff it just to kind of shine it up that much more and I just put it on with a paper towel again I really didn't need the glue the tape on my fingers at this point but I forgot to take it off so I just rub it on there and then hard with the paper towel just to buff it out so here so it is I think it turned out the very nice works and the bushings are not stuck so I think the paste wax is the way to go and not necessary to buy the plastic bushings as long as you use the paste wax but here is a close-up view of the the shininess of the pen I think it turned out great and it was the first time I've ever used the CA finish and I didn't need to really show how to put it together so that's why this is so sped up but I think the pen turned out great here's a few shots of it if you are interested in buying um, CA glue to do pens definitely look into fast caps 2p10 CA glue and activator is some awesome stuff definitely my favorite super glue that I use and I will have a link down in the description of where you can get that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel definitely think about doing that I try to post kind of regularly but bear with me right now because it is craft show season and I'm uh, extremely busy but I do have a lot of videos already shot that need to be edited and posted but 
Again, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Also, think about subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks.